Hello everyone, and welcome to the Rendering Engine Architecture Course 2021. I'm Stephen McCauley, the Lead Rendering Programmer at Sony Santa Monica Studio, and one of your course organizers today. I'll let my fellow course organizers introduce themselves. Hi and welcome. I'm Angelo Pesce. Uh, I'm a Senior Director and I lead the rendering team at Roblox. Hi, my name is Natalia Tatarchuk and I'm a Distinguished Technical Fellow in VP, AAA, and Graphics Innovation at Unity Technologies. My name is Michael Vance, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Activision Publishing. Thank you, everyone. Now, why are we here? It all started at the Blarneystone Pub in Vancouver at SIGGRAPH 2018. Natasha and I talked about doing some sort of event based around rendering engine architecture. After all, there are plenty of opportunities for people to talk about the visual side of rendering, or even GPU optimization, say whether that's a GDC, SIGGRAPH, either the advances course or physically based shading. But there's a less sexy side to rendering, the whole in rendering engine architecture upon which our visuals are built. It doesn't get talked about in quite the same way. So we began putting a course entirely focused around engine architecture. Along the way, we picked up two other experts in the field, Michael Vance and Angelo Pesher, and tried to make it for SIGGRAPH 2020. However, with the challenges of COVID, we felt it best to delay, and we're very happy to be here at SIGGRAPH 2021. What are we aiming to cover with this rendering engine architecture event? Well, first, we are talking about the engine architecture real-time renderers, not offline renderers of film. This primarily, of course, means games, as you'll see in our presentations from Activision about the Call of Duty rendering engine. But we also have speakers from Unity whose product can be used in much more, such as virtual reality experiences or previous of films. Equally, we have a presentation from Roblox, we not only have a game engine, but a very powerful content creation tool. This means that we'll be covering some very different products over the course of this event, and we'll learn how that influences the technological choices that we make. We often have to choose constraints, but those evolve over time. For example, we'll learn about the base rendering engine architecture of Call of Duty from Michael Vance, and how Drobot will describe how the engine had to evolve with the advent of Call of Duty Warzone. We also choose to specialize our engines in the hope of gaining efficiency but we'll be learning from Unity's presentation about incredibly efficient, yet flexible methods of rendering, which might challenge our ideas that those two things are opposed. And finally, resiliency is a topic that's important to all of us, because tracking down crashes in live games is no, no one's idea of a fun time. All our talks touch on these topics. It's whether you're a platform for a user-generated content, or an online multiplayer game, or a game engine, that principle is very important. Let's go over our schedule for these next two days. Each part of the course is two hours of simulated video followed by a 30 minute live Q&A. As such, the timings of the individual talks are given as guidelines only. For today, we begin with this introduction at 9 a.m. Pacific time, and then we move on to Unity Rendering Architecture with Sebastian Altonen, Tim Cooper, and Natasha Tatachuk. Next is Geometry Rendering Pipeline Architecture at Activision with Mahal Drabot, before we make some closing remarks. We will then move into 30 minutes of live Q&A at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow, we start an hour later at 10 a.m. After a short introduction of today, Angelo Pesha will present the rendering engine architecture of Roblox before Michael Vance gives a history of the Call of Duty engine at Activision. We will then give some short closing remarks before a 30 minute live Q&A at 12 p.m. Pacific time. As a reminder, please visit our website, enginearchitecture.realtimerendering.com, where slides will be available. And we'd love to hear your feedback. Please send any to our email address, engineconference at gmail.com. Now, let me introduce our two talks. Our first talk is Unity Rendering Architecture, presented by Sebastian Altonen, Tim Cooper, and Natasha Tartachuk of Unity Technologies. Sebastian Altonen is the lead of the Unity Hybrid Rendering Graphics team. Formerly, he worked at Ubisoft, developing modern high-performance GPU-driven rendering pipelines for AAA console games. Timothy Cooper is currently the director of the Graphics Foundation team at Unity. He leads a number of teams working on scalable and performant rendering technologies, that scale across all the platforms that Unity supports. Tim has previously worked at 2K on the Bioshock series of games, where he worked on graphics, consoles, and technical programming for the company. Natasha Tartachuk is a graphics engineer and a rendering enthusiast at heart, currently focused on driving the state-of-the-art rendering technology and graphics performance for Unity Engine as a distinguished technical fellow and VP of AAA in graphics innovation, and prior to that, led the graphics team at Unity. Before that, she was a AAA games developer, working on innovative cross-platform rendering engine and games graphics that does depend on Bungie's Destiny franchise, as well as the Halo series, such as Halo, 
ODST, and Halo Reach, an AMD graphics products group, where she pushed parallel computing boundaries, investigating advanced real-time graphics techniques, and graphics hardware design and APIs. Natasha has been encouraging sharing in the games graphics community for several decades, largely by organizing a popular series of courses such as advances in real-time rendering, and open problems in real-time rendering a SIG graph, and convincing people to speak there. It seemed to work. Our second talk is Geometry Rendering Pipeline uh, Architecture at Activision, presented by Mahal Drabolt. Mahal is a principal rendering engineer at Infinity Ward and Activision Studio. Most recently, he worked on the rendering architecture of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Before that, he helped in designing and optimizing a 3D render in Far Cry 4 at Ubisoft Montreal. Prior to that, he worked at Guerrilla Games, designing and optimizing the rendering pipeline for the PlayStation 4 launch title, Killzone Shadowfall. Mahal specializes in rendering algorithms, render architectures, hardware architectures, and lower level optimizations. We'll then end with a live Q&A at 11 Pacific time. Enjoy the talk, so hopefully we'll see you all there.